Hey, Magic Brush Facebook fans. Okay, so um, if you would all subscribe to uh, my blog posts or watch the videos that I have on my Magic Brush TV site, you'll know that I literally just painted this pot brown maybe two, possibly three years ago. It was really light, and so I did a whole video on how to stain it and make it darker. And now, um, I promise you, like everything brown in my house is driving me crazy. If it's brown or black or red or orange, I like want to get rid of it. And, um, and it's kind of driving me crazy that it's driving me crazy. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to pretty much take this pot back to how it actually was in the beginning. But um, whenever I have a project like this in my house, I got to make it easy, you guys, because I change what I like really frequently. And I always have new projects that I'm wanting to do. So if I have to take out the flowers and take this outside and clean it and sand it and prime it and then paint it, I'll never stink and do it because I don't have time for all that nonsense. When it's in my house, I'm just trying to get from A to B as quickly as possible. And so um, I'm just using like cream colored paint that I just have in my basement. And I'm using a paintbrush that is clearly been left out a little long today. She's a little stiff. And I am just going to dry brush a ton of this pot. Now, um, here's the thing. I don't want to get so far into the cream and gray thing that I can't return from it. So I am going to leave like a little bit of the brown coming through. I still have lots of brown trim in my house and um, brown, you know, other things. But um, I do just want to try to get rid of a lot of it because it's for some reason feeling really heavy to me. And I think color is funny like that actually because I think that we go through different seasons in our life. We go through different things where we need to be surrounded by different colors. So for me right now, the browns and the blacks, the reds and the oranges are feeling very heavy and I want them gone. Um, and so switching over the whole house to grays, blues, and corals, and super fun, but it takes a lot of little projects, just like this one. So anyway, um, hopefully this will encourage somebody just to pull out a can of paint and a brush today. And you can see it doesn't have to be perfect. I hope that is encouraging and you'll try something in your own house today. Let me know that I'm not the only crazy person who does, you know, 30 second projects like this, okay? Have a good day, bye-bye.